Being a financial advisor is not a part-time job. Alam ko a lot of life insurance advisors and managers market this profession as so tara sali ka sa amin, you can do this part-time, including me. Now, sometimes I also invite people, oh sige pwede mo tong isabay sa ginagawa mo. And yes, true enough that you know you may not do this full time, but having that mentality na part time job is not applicable in this industry, in this business, in this profession. Um, bakit? Because our clients deserve more than that. Our clients deserve a financial advisor who has a, a bigger commitment rather than just having a part time job. So in this video, I'll be discussing if you plan to be a financial advisor, ano dapat yung approach mo? Or if you're a new advisor, then ito dapat yung you should have to embrace this. Right? This is how you should think for to be successful in this industry. For yourself, for your own success and your own clients, the clients that you will have. And if for existing advisors who are still struggling here, um, you know, maybe this, some of the, the things that I will mention in this video are, this are your mentality, kaya ganun. So I hope that this video can help you. And if you're a client, uh, if you're searching for the right financial advice or ano ba yung dapat para hindi ka magaya dun sa mga tao that are fed up with this, with, with the life insurance industry, which is really good. The product are really good. However, probably they are just underserved or misserved by their clients. I hope this can help you decide what type of financial advisors would you want. Um, or maybe, you know, if, if you feel that, you know, nangyari sa akin to and I don't want this to happen to other people, then maybe you would want to be a financial advisor as well. So these are the things that you should and ano yun dapat mong maging gusto mong gawin. Um, this is not a part-time job. And definitely, this is also not a sideline. Diba ko yung sideline kasi look, thinking this as a part-time job you you kasi ko pag ano eh kung kung kailan mo lang kung kailan ka lang comfortable that, that's where you will work it's not like that like if you have a lot of clients already they will have concerns they will have um they would need your assistance they will look for you they will have questions you should be able to answer within 24 hours if not immediately diba and better if you can be proactive na kahit hindi nila hinihiling, you can give updates, etc. Ako, I have GC of my top clients. I give updates to them. Pag may mga um, adjustments or updates with their policies, I try to make them uh, be updated, uh, inform them kaagad. Pag may mga promos, I inform them. Um, hindi ko naman din nagagawa lahat, but if they ask questions, they PM me, I try to answer as fast as I can. And even though I'm doing other things, I have other businesses, so um, this is not a side line. If you have other businesses, this is another line, another main line. Think of this as uh, your business number two, another big business on the way, you know? Um, as if you have invested a lot of money here. But the problem sometimes, no, kasi diba, when you invest in your own business, ang laki ng, ng ginasos mo, like hundreds of thousands of pesos, half million, one million. So talagang tutok na tutok ka. Ayaw mo siyang malugi. Eh dito, ang baba lang ng puhunan. Like you'll, you can start at around 5,500 with the licensing and exams. Um, probably, uh, 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 you add a bit more for your own gadgets, um, internet connection. Pero mababa lang ang puhunan. So parang ang daling pabayaan na lang, di ba? I've seen a lot of advisors pa nga pagka-join, nagbayad, gumasa sa licensing, tapos hindi na kumilos, di ba? So grabe. This is not a part-time job. Kung kailan ka lang komportable, dun ka lang magkatrabaho, hindi siya ganun. Hindi rin to sideline. DJ, how about side hustle? No? So, pinasosyal na tawag sa sideline o sa part-time. And I, I, I like the word side hustle. I like it better because there's the word hustle. It means you will work. You work harder. Diba? Hindi siya kung kailan ka lang komportable. No? But definitely you got to have a better mindset. No? Pag talagang side hustle, dapat maganda. You should have, you should think long term. You should think long term, have a long term outlook, and then bigger vision. Ano ba yung nakikita mong gagawin mo or mangyayari or gusto mong ma-achieve dito? Bakit mo pag-aaksayahan ng oras ito? 
Uh, when I joined this industry, I wanted to double my income. Sabi ko, malaki yung kita ko sa business, but maybe it's not sustainable. Gusto ko madoble yung income ko and maybe adding another line of business. Not a sideline, not part-time. Sisimulan ko siya onting time lang, pero malaki yung gusto kong mangyari dito. No, that's how I I look at this. And true enough, that's what happened. I more than doubled my income because of this industry. Because I had a big vision and long-term yung tingin ko. Hindi porke, hindi agad ako kumita first few months, first few years. In fact, my first four years probably in this industry, I'm not really earning that much. Ang laki ng kita ko pa rin sa, sa dati kong business. But nung nag-pandemic, grabe, sinave ako na itong business na to. Because we can do things online. In fact, one of my best years is during the pandemic because I had a lot of policies. My, the most uh, so far that I had 119 lives saved in one year because of this policy. So, uh, because of this business. So, um, you have to think long term. Hindi po hindi ka kagad kumita ng malaki rito, iiwan mo na kagad. And kawawa yung mga clients mo. So, I want advisors that are really committed to this business and to to their clients. Um, we we know that, you know, when you say side hustle, dapat long-term perspective kasi we say that your 9 to 5 job earns you a living. It pays for your bills. Then, your 5 to 9, what you do between 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. earns you a fortune. So yes, if you'll be doing this part-time, don't treat this as a part-time job na mas maliit yung dapat mo kitain kasi nga mas konti lang yung yung ini-spend mo na time, hindi ganun. Your goal is to exceed, if not mapantayan yung 9 to 5 job mo, yung earnings from, from that in this industry because it's doable. And it will only happen if you have that vision and then you will set a game plan. In AIA Philippines, we say mission before commission. Yes, you will earn commission and that's given. Kasi may gasos din naman, di ba? Um, but we do the mission first. It's for our clients. We educate them. We give the best product for them and then more importantly we stay long in this business to serve them if their goal is education ng anak dapat nandoon doon tayo pag magre-release ng education payout kung retirement siya hanggang mag-retire yan dapat nandoon doon tayo if it's possible or kung magkaroon ng death claim or critical illness claim we should be there to help facilitate at the very least tell them what to do next i we are like doctors lawyers and accountants we are professionals here um, ang registration nga natin dito PTR professional tax receipt diba so that's our DTI or business permit every single year so we are professionals right people respect doctors people respect lawyers people respect accountants um, they trust them with their profession diba they lay it all to them how come we cannot be like that? We can be like that and we are actually like that only if the mentality is like that as well. Hindi rin po, rin po biro ang maging financial advisor. I'm not telling you that you should be richer than your clients. It's not always the case. Huh? Accountants are not always richer than the company owners but they know what to do in terms of their taxes, in terms of their BIR reports. Ganon din po tayo mga mga financial advisors. We know what to do when in terms of personal finance, when it comes to protecting their assets. We're not just handling investments. Now, I've been seeing posts in, in social media, um, you know, that some people don't want to entrust their money to their financial advisors because they cannot invest their money. And the reality is we really don't invest their money, right? We tell them what to do, how to protect what they have already built. That's the most important thing. And sometimes we, you know, we package our products as a savings plan, sometimes counting investment to, as a hedge for other risks. Right? But we are not the most profitable investments. We know that. VULs are not the most profitable investments. Um, and it's fine. It's fine. Normal lang yan. Because we have, we can offer something that other investments cannot offer. And that is protection and instant money just in case something happens. That only life insurance can provide that this business now right so my message to the financial advisors is think long term you must treat this as a business that diba pag mayroon ka negosyo you mamahalit mo talaga yon and then you will really invest 
You invest money. Ang liit lang na puhunan dito. But you got to invest elsewhere. Paano yun? You got to invest in yourself. Your packaging. No? Mag-ayos ka naman. Di ba? Um, you learn. Invest in learning. Attend different training. You owe that to your clients. So that pag may tanong, masasagot mo. Pag hindi mo masagot yung tanong, you're willing to learn and ask questions to your managers, to your co-advisors. Attend training. Attend training in your company. Attend training in in different outside providers that you can grow. Napakadaming training sa industry na to. If you're looking for personal growth and development, you will grow here as long as you really commit to yourself for you to grow. And siguro, invest in internet connection, di ba? Most importantly, um, ngayon, sa panahon na ngayon, dapat mabilis ang internet mo. Uh, we'll be doing things online. The training are all online. Your meetings with your managers will be online. Um, I have different advisors all over the country already. Hindi na lang limited na pupunta pa rito sa office. But dapat mabilis yung internet connection man lang, di ba? So that we can really meet. Pag nag-meeting tayo, open camera. Wag naman naka-close, di ba? So those things. Um, if you want this and earn, and make money out of this, of course, normal yan kasi gagawin mo tong additional income mo, hopefully a bigger income than the one you're doing right now, you should treat this as a business. And when you do that, you will really would want to better your own business and masaserve mo rin yung clients mo ng mabuti. Right? So, you know, I am looking for people who want to be professional financial advisors. Um, enough of the days that people hate financial advisors because they didn't really explain the product much. Enough of the times that people hate VUL because they don't understand what VUL is or it's misrepresented. Mali yung pagkakapresent. Pag nag-save ka ng money rito o nag-invest ka, kita ng pera mo, nang malaki yung pera mo. Uh, hindi ganun eh. Um, you gotta highlight insurance, critical illness, and all the other different protection and riders. Right? If you're saying VUL, it should be like that. And if ayaw ng BVL, pwede term or whole life insurance. Ang daming options eh. So, we need professional financial advisors. This country, us in AIA and Starbright, my team in Starbright Financial Advisor here in AIA Philippines, we are looking for people who want to grow themselves so that they can really educate and teach other people the right way. Just like what I'm doing here in my channel, I'm really creating a lot of videos that can educate people, even clients of other advisors who don't really mind, um, so that, you know, they would, they would not be frustrated with the policies they got just because they don't understand it. Uh, what's important is I may be able to explain it in their behalf, but we need more people like this. My efforts are not enough. We need a lot more people who will be able to do this. So if you feel that you have that heart, if you believe that in mission before commission, yes, you will make more money here, a lot of money here, right? More than you can ever imagine. This is a wonderful industry. But before that, you gotta have the heart to help and educate other people. So if you wanna grow yourself, grow professionally, and then help, use your God-given gifts to help other people, educate people so that they can invest better, they can protect their money, um, yung mga walang maiipon, matulungan natin makapag-ipon, yung mga walang insurance, magkaroon ng life insurance and be protected for breadwinners, their money, um, hindi maubos yung ipon nila or yung assets nila pag nagkaroon ng sakit. Um, for those who are earning well para makapag-retire ng maigi or they can send their kids to school, the better schools. Um, for those na may pera, may yaman, para maipamana nila ng tama yung pera nila at hindi mapunta sa wala, hindi lang mapunta sa taxes. Those are the, the services that we do here. So if you would want to learn those things, learn with me, learn with our team, we will be patient with you. We don't need a lot more sales in, at first. It's not about that. It's about people who are committed to grow themselves, invest in themselves, learn, and then they can educate other people. You know, I also don't know anything about this industry nine years ago when I joined this industry. But right now, I'm proud. I know that I learn. I know a lot. I still don't know a lot of things. I'm still learning. But at least I've learned a lot of things as well that I can educate 
most if not all of you here. So thank you for watching this video. I'm inviting you to be part of my team. If you are interested, just message me in my Facebook page. Let's work together. This country needs a lot more financial advisors who are professionals, not just may natutunan isang product, bebenta pa offer na lang yon. I hate financial advisors who come to you and then, oh, ito magana tong product ato bili ka na. Should not be the case. It should be depend sa goal ng clients. They ask you ano ba yung gusto mo talaga. They want to clarify your goal and then just pick a product na magbi-fit dun sa goal mo. That should be the financial advisors that we all have here. So if you're a client, look for that type of financial advisor. If you don't have a financial advisor, message me. I can be or someone in my team. I can send them to help you. Um, we are well trained. Start by financial advisors. We train them. Uh, and we want more financial advisors. Like here in AIA, again, we mentioned mission before commission. We're not after paramihan ng sales. That we're not number one in terms of pinakamaraming sales because hindi kami benta-benta lang. We don't sell like VUL if it's not for you. Diba? Para dahil lang investment. We focus on protection, life insurance. Kailangan mo talaga yun. Diba? So people get our products because gusto talaga nila and they really want to be product protected. Hindi yung nabudo lang, diba? Or um, yun nga, na-excite lang. Hindi nila naintindihan, ganyan. We don't like that. Right? So we're looking for people who wants to be part of the movement so message me if you are interested go to my facebook page facebook.com slash dj official let's work together because if you you reach this part of the video ang gandulo maybe you're the person we are looking for so message me let's work together and i will share with you the next step to be part of our team